Hi guys, it's Melissa here, so welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I'm renovating this apartment in the Uptown District of San Myshuno. And this apartment belongs to the Fang family, which consists of Lily Fang and her husband Victor. And I'm really excited to share this one with you guys because I've never actually renovated this apartment before. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it is very pretty. It did give me a lot of trouble though. I tried renovating this apartment a couple times before this one. But the floor plan was giving me kind of a hard time, so what I decided to do was delete all of the furniture and start with the existing floor plan and just try to work around that as I plan out where furniture is going to go, which rooms are going to be which. But the main changes that I made were with the location of the stairs. I changed that and then kind of the upstairs layout is changed a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty similar to the original floor plan because I felt like it was a pretty good layout. I liked how open it was with that open balcony down to the living room. It's so, so pretty. So I really wanted to leave that and I also close off the office area downstairs because I felt like it would be a little bit nicer to have it a little bit more private, but you will see that I kind of have it open with some kind of makeshift shutter doors that I create that I think look really nice. So yeah, I'm very excited to hear what you guys have to say about this apartment. And yeah, like I mentioned, I've never done this one before. There's only one other apartment that I have left to renovate that I've never renovated before. And that's the three-story apartment. And I don't think I've ever even visited that lot before. So I'm kind of nervous about renovating that one. I've been kind of intimidated by it. So if you guys have any ideas for the Sims that you think should live in that apartment, please let me know because I think that'll help a lot when I go in to renovate it and maybe have a bit of a plan or a design or theme in mind. Do you guys think I should go like ultra modern or should I go more traditional? or should I do like somewhere in between? I'm not exactly sure. So if you guys have any suggestions, that would be very helpful. And for this apartment, I did kind of a mixture in between traditional and modern. I felt like that suited the Fang family really nicely. And I was really inspired by the latest update. If you guys missed it, we did just get an update to base game where we got some free items. We got some cast items, some build items, and they're all so pretty. I really like them. And they were inspired by the Chinese holiday of Lunar New Year. So I did look up on Pinterest for some Chinese interior design for this apartment and I came across these pictures of these really pretty interiors with all these different shades of brown so like light browns mixed with dark browns and then like a little bit of black and so that's kind of what I was basing this apartment around or trying to give it that feel so a lot of the decisions I made were based on those pictures that I found on Pinterest and I thought they were so pretty and I'm really happy with the way it came out in this apartment but here I created some shuttered doors and this is kind of the way I separated the office area. I wanted it to have the illusion that you could pull these clothes if you wanted some privacy in the office, but I really like the way that area turns out. And I haven't done these shutter doors in a long time, so I was happy to do them here. I was also going to do them up in the master bedroom. You'll see me try it out here in just a moment, but it didn't quite work because what I was going to do is have a separate closet space from the bathroom right next to each other because I thought that would look kind of nice, but I ended up doing the closet on the other side and making this really long, narrow master bath. But that room turns out so cool. There's like a fish tank in there and I think it looks really nice. It's quite fancy and I feel like it suits the family pretty nicely. There's also another bedroom upstairs that I was going to turn into a home gym. But what I end up doing is actually making more of like a yoga meditation studio. And I felt like that was a little bit more appropriate. And I haven't really done too many of those in homes. I've placed the yoga mats several times or the meditation pedestal a couple of times, but I haven't done like a single room dedicated to that. So I thought that was kind of fun. You could of course turn it into a bedroom if you would like to, if you don't want to play with the Fang family because they don't have a child. And I'm pretty sure Lily is, I think she hates children. Yeah, she's unflirty and she hates children. So I'm not sure how maternal she would be. Have you guys ever played with a family where one of the parents hates children and then they have children, do they like kind of neglect them or do they still have a good relationship because it's their kid and they just hate other people's kids? I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I think it could be kind of interesting anyways. And then what are Victor's traits? I haven't looked these up. I think, yeah, he's materialistic perfectionist and they're both geniuses. So they're really smart. They're very successful. I think he is in the politician career and then she's in the business career. So yeah, they're kind of a nice family. But um, so you will notice there are some glitches with this apartment and it's been like with apartments in general, at least in my game. Oh, right here. I realized there was no exterior paint. So I took a picture of it. <laughs> I was like, where's the wallpaper? It was just like the regular walls without any paint or anything on them. So I thought that was kind of funny. 
but yeah so there are some like glitches with two-story apartments i've noticed where you can't see anything below them like you can't see the stairs i've noticed that in houses too but for this apartment i couldn't see any of the furniture below and then all of the windows were like black and yeah it doesn't look that great but i promise you everything's fine everything should place fine just make sure you turn on move objects and everything should work just as it should um, but here I am starting off decorating the entryway to the house. I wanted to keep the decorating quite simple. So I was trying to not like overly clutter it up and put a bunch of decorations around. I was trying to keep it more simple than I normally do and trying to add different items that I don't normally do as well that I thought would go with this whole Chinese inspired apartment. It probably doesn't look that Chinese, but like I said, I was looking at pictures on Pinterest, trying to gather ideas. And so it was inspired by that anyways and i was going to put a shoe rack over here but i decided it looked a little bit too messy with the coat rack and then the umbrella rack so i decided just to leave the umbrella rack with the coat rack and then get rid of the shoes but um you can of course add them if you would like to and then for the bathroom i decided to leave it in the same spot that it was originally oh and i sized up those lights i felt like the design worked really nicely for the look i was going for but yeah, like I was saying, there was a bathroom here originally, so I decided to leave it as a bathroom. I didn't include a washer and dryer in this apartment. There is a hallway closet. Maybe you could fit one in there if you decided to play with it, or you could put the washer and dryer in here too, but I decided not to. I imagine they send their laundry out. Somebody else takes care of it, so they don't have to worry about it. Um, but if you want to play with it, you could definitely add them in here. And I definitely wanted to give them this smart toilet. I figured they would have this kind of toilet for sure. I don't use it very often. I feel like it's kind of silly, but I feel like it's appropriate for this apartment. And yeah, over here I just put a sink and I'm just picking out some mirrors. It took me a little while. I ended up going with these tall modern mirrors. I felt like that suited them kind of nicely. And then I put a few decorations on the counters. I wasn't exactly sure what all I wanted to use. I think I ended up just putting a plant and some soap. I was going to add a couple other things, but it ended up looking too messy. I was really trying to keep this pretty clean. And I was so happy to finally use that wall towel that came with uh, fitness stuff. I never use it. It doesn't quite work in all of the builds. And I find like I just forget about it, I think, because it's in a weird location. I think it's in miscellaneous decor if I remember correctly I forget exactly but you would think it would either be in wall decorations or in the bathroom category when you're filtering by room type but it's not it's just like in random decor it's kind of a strange location for it so I always forget about that item but I felt like it suited them and this kind of style pretty nicely but here I'm decorating the kitchen I decided to go with these cabinets that came with cool kitchen I felt like the colors worked perfectly for what I was going for I really liked the brown and the black and then I felt like the glass looked really modern and kind of fancy too so I thought that was really pretty I'm pretty sure the kitchen was in this same spot originally but it was kind of overlapping the windows and I thought it was kind of funny for the Sims team to do that when they were putting this apartment together because that means they had to turn on move objects I'm pretty sure to put them in front of the windows so it was kind of like on purpose I don't know I felt like it was kind of weird so I definitely wanted to change that up because I don't like blocking windows with cabinets I feel like it's really unrealistic and it doesn't look that pretty so I wanted to do that I also gave them a pet food bowl I'm not sure if they have a dog or a cat I didn't put a litter box anywhere I don't think I think I would give them that automated litter box that like cleans it for you I doubt they would ever clean a litter box maybe they have a little dog I don't know I haven't exactly decided yet if you guys know please let me know or I can get rid of it and not give them a pet so haven't made up my mind exactly but here I just hang up a couple of paintings and then oh this is one of the new items that came with the update so this is like a little citrus tree it's so pretty I think it's gonna work so nicely in so many builds there's also a swatch that has envelopes attached to it that are like connected to the branches somehow with money inside. Um, I did watch the live stream where the Sims team went over these items and they said it was part of the Lunar New Year tradition to have envelopes of money. So we also got some separate envelopes that you could set around on tables and decorations. So I put some in the office because I thought that was kind of nice. But here I create kind of a wine closet. I felt like that was pretty fancy and kind of a nice thing to have. And then I just pick out some decorations to put here on the counter. Like I said earlier, I didn't want it to be too cluttered and too decorated. So I just do a few things like some fruit and then the salt and pepper shakers. And I think just a plant. I switch it up here in just a moment, but this is how I leave it for now. But I do switch it up again. They also have a teapot. And then I think that's basically it. I think I put some fruit over by the teapot and then 
maybe a couple other things. Oh, I do some pet treats because yeah, I gave them the pet food bowl and I felt like they would have some pet treats sitting on the counter. It's probably a pretty spoiled pet. I'm leaning more towards dog. I feel like they're dog people. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, yeah, I'm leaning towards dog people. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But there, I just moved the fruit bowl and then I think I put a plant there and then a rug in front of the stove. And then I also size up these sheer curtains and put them along this wall. But when I went to go take the screenshots, it looked a little bit weird. And I think I may have messed with it a couple times during the video, but it looked weird because there's windows all the way up the wall of the building and I wasn't gonna put curtains on every single one of them. I thought it looked best to have them open because I don't think you would cover them up with curtains. So um, I do delete those. I keep the ones in the kitchen area and then I think I put some in the bedroom and then that's about it for curtains. Maybe in the yoga room. I think I put curtains in there, but I thought they looked nice. They layer really nicely with these uh, blinds that came with my first pet stuff. And there I was going to put those in the window. I thought it looked kind of cool, but I didn't think it would transfer through the gallery. So I decided against it. And then I just put this cabinet over here. And then I put this plant next to the fruit because I felt like I needed some other decoration. And then I put a plant on the table with just a couple of candles. And then I also hang up this wine picture next to the china cabinet. But I felt like they needed something right here and I felt like a bar would be perfect. But we didn't have a bar that matched the countertops perfectly. So I just used this base game one in a brown color and then just put the cabinets around it. And I think it looks okay. I mean, I wish we had a bar that matched it, but then again, I feel like we have so many bars in game that we don't need anymore. So I don't really need one, I guess, that matches perfectly. I think it looks okay. And then I just put up a painting over here and then that's it for the dining and kitchen area. I really like it. I think it's so pretty and I do think it suits the family really nicely. And then over here, I put a fireplace. I definitely felt like this apartment should have a fireplace and I put a pretty big TV up. And then for the furniture here in the living room, I ended up going with the vintage glamour furniture because I felt like it kind of suited the style the best, but I go with this one that kind of has these bluish purpley pillows. I thought it was so pretty. I tend to not use these couches very often because I feel like the frames of them are so stylized that so they don't fit in a lot of builds, but they are really nice couches. I really like the pillows a lot. And I just size up this fluffy rug and then I was kind of struggling with the coffee table a little bit. I thought about using that one with the fish in it. I think it could have looked pretty cool, but I decided not to. I ended up going into the miscellaneous surface category and using two of these. I kind of liked the shape of them and I felt like they looked really nice. And then I put a plant in the corner. I kind of struggled with this living room when I was first decorating it. So I do go back in at the end of the video and add like another chair and a few other decorations. Because here I was going to put two of these blue chairs over here in the corner. You'll see me add one, like another one here in just a moment. And then I decided against it, but once I was done with the video, I felt like compared to the rest of the apartment, the living room just looked a little bit plain. So I just go in and add a couple other decorations, but that'll be at the end of the video. But here I'm just placing a lamp and then I place a plant in the corner. But here you can see that you can't see the furniture. I went to the second level to see how the living room looked from the second story and you couldn't see it at all. If you move your camera around a little bit, you can kind of see some of the furniture popping in and kind of in and out, but the shadows are still there, but the furniture's gone. It's so weird. I hope they fix that glitch soon because I've noticed it in like regular houses too, where you won't be able to see like this staircase from the second story. It's so weird, but um, yeah, hopefully it'll get fixed soon. But here I'm just kind of messing around with the colors. I love this painting so much. The office area is probably like my favorite part of the apartment. I really like the meditation room too, but I don't know. I like the office. I think it is so pretty, especially when you're looking from the office into the living room. Like the view is so pretty. I really enjoyed taking the screenshots. But here is when I was kind of struggling with this living room area. I kind of struggled with picking out a piece of artwork to put here. So I ended up not placing anything, but I do go back in at the end of the video and put this light that has a really pretty design on it. And I thought that looked really nice there. And I also go back in and add the second chair. And then I added a little seating area um, by the windows, but I can explain all that when we get to it because it probably doesn't make much sense right now. But here you can see that the windows are black. I was trying to add some lights to brighten up the windows, but I think it's just a glitch and there's nothing I can do about it. But here you can see that it does look weird with the curtains, so I do delete those ones that are down below because I didn't think they were very necessary. But over here is going to be the office area and I use this desk that came with Vintage Glamour. I thought it worked pretty nicely in here because it matches the couches and it kind of works the whole style. And I felt like it went pretty nicely with this couch too or this little lounge chair with the pillows on it. It's an adorable item. I don't use it that often, 
at least it's been a while since I've used it, but I like the pillows on it and I felt like it looked really nice with the painting above it. And I liked the little bits of like purples and blues. I felt like it brightened up the space a lot and it kind of matched the living room set. So yeah, I like the way that came together, but here I'm just picking out some decorations for the desk. And then there's the envelopes of money in those red envelopes. So I thought that was pretty cute. And other than that, I just put a plant and then we have a folder. Pretty simple, but I really do like it. And then I felt like I needed a side table here next to the lounge chair. And I just put this flower decoration here on the table and it's nice and simple, but I think it looks really nice. And yeah, this is basically it for the downstairs. I put a hallway closet here and then a painting across the way. I thought about adding like a side table next to the staircase, but I felt like that would just be a little bit too much. So I decided not to. And I think it just looks really nice and open and kind of clean and fancy. So I'm pretty happy with the way that came together. But over here is going to be the meditation room. So at this point, I wasn't exactly sure what all I was going to add in here. And there I thought about putting these in the windows again. And I think it looks okay if I pull it a little bit closer I think it would have stayed in the room but I decided just to do a couple of curtains and I feel like that just looks a little bit nicer it was a little bit too busy with those decorations in the windows too but you could definitely add it this pig statue is another item that came with the latest update so I sized it up and placed it in here and then I do a couple of yoga mats, the meditation stool, and then over here I do a side table with a painting above it, and then I put some like rolled towels and a few decorations around like some rocks and stuff. But this tree, I loved using this tree in the build. I used it downstairs in like a whitish pink color, and then this yellow I thought was so fun and so bright, so I really liked using it in here and yeah, I just thought it brought so much color and I really liked it anyways. And the lighting in here is so pretty right now in the build, like I was loving decorating this room but here I'm just finding different decorations I put that incense over by the pig statue and then we have some rolled up towels and then I find some other rocks and then that's basically it for this room I was gonna find other things but I felt like this was probably plenty oh yeah I remembered this item this is a base game item that I always forget about because it's so small but I did size it up it's like a little zen garden really pretty item so I thought that looked nice in there and then for this upstairs landing area, I wasn't exactly sure what all I wanted to add, but I ended up adding a few things. I put a chess table up here, a couple of bookcases, and then this side table with another piece of artwork above it that came with City Living that I thought worked pretty nicely in here. And these chairs also came with the latest update, so those are really nice. We also got a round table with the update that I didn't end up using in this apartment, but they match the chairs. And there's a few other things that I can't remember right now. There's like a little tray with like some oranges or stuff. Yeah, some oranges in it, I think. I tried putting it on the shelf over here in just a moment, but I decided not to keep it because the colors didn't quite work for me. So I felt like it didn't, it didn't look the way I wanted it to. But this is the box. It has like a little ribbon tied around it with some of those money envelopes. And I think they're oranges. I think it's some of the oranges off the citrus tree, but I ended up not leaving it over here. I just put a few decorations. I think I put another incense over here and then a plant. I think I ended up getting rid of that one. And then there's also that statue with some books underneath of it that I think is a pretty cute item. But yeah, I think this landing area turns out really nice. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the way it came together. And I wish I could look down from the balcony and see the furniture below because then it would like tie it all together and I could see how it all looks. But unfortunately, it's broken right now and I can't see it. It's kind of frustrating, but oh well. Um, I still like the way it looks anyhow. And then over here, I put this succulent thing that came with City Living. You'll see it out here in just a moment, but it's a really cute item. It's actually in the hallway by the front door if you're in the main part of this apartment building, which is really cool because the hallway isn't really decorated that much. So it's kind of nice that there's something out there, but it's kind of a weird hallway because it has like carpet. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It has really dark brown walls. It has like really dark walls and then carpet. I feel like it's really strange, but oh well. Um, I wish we could edit the hallways. Like more than I wish we could edit the exterior of apartments, I wish we could edit the hallways. That would be so nice because I feel like they're kind of, they're kind of bland and then some of the hallways, I, I don't know. I feel like they need more decorations or they need new, like one of the apartments doesn't even have any flooring. I just did an apartment renovation today and it's one of those apartments in the Spice District, not the Culpepper House, but the other ones. I forget what they're called right now. I think they're called Jasmine Suites. But anyways, they have no flooring. It's just concrete, and I'm pretty sure it's just the default concrete that doesn't cost any simoleons. So there's not even any flooring there. I wish we could change that. It's so... It's so annoying, but oh well. Um, anyway, so this is going to be the Fang's bedroom, um, the master bedroom, and I think it turns out really pretty. I really liked using this bed from Vintage Glamour. I don't use it a whole lot either, 
but I felt like it worked for them. And then we also got the vanity table, which I thought was really pretty. And then I do a little seating area over here in the corner. I use these chairs that came with seasons. I thought they looked kind of nice. I felt like the browns and the blacks worked pretty well for this apartment. But here's when I decided to add this fish tank. And I thought this was so cool. I used this window so you could look inside of the fish tank. So while you're getting ready, because I moved the vanity table back over there so you could see the fish swimming around through the window while you're getting ready. I thought that was so cool. And I also create a window in the bathroom area. So if you're in the bathroom getting ready, you can see the fish swimming around as well. I felt like that was very, very fancy to have something like that in your apartment. So I think that turned out really nicely and at this point I was still thinking about making a separate closet area from this bathroom but I realized with the windows and stuff I didn't really have a whole lot of space to put uh, like counters and then a toilet with the corner bathtub and the shower because I really wanted to add one of those corner jacuzzi tubs I definitely felt like this was the type of apartment that would have one and what I end up doing is actually using the closet space where I have that closet that came with get together the walk-in closet I thought about just leaving that one because it's probably the most usable because your sims can like go in there and like try on clothes and stuff but I felt like the closets that came with get famous would be much more appropriate and kind of fit in this apartment pretty nicely so I end up using those and I think it looks so good so so you'll see that come together here in just a moment once I finish the bathroom but I just put a little kind of bench right here I thought that was kind of nice and then I do some counters in here with another one of those like fancy talking toilets these smart toilets what, what exactly do you call these because I'm not sure but I put one in here and then I put some more of these tall mirrors and then I do put a few clutter items up on the counters but again the same idea that I had with the downstairs bathroom I didn't want it to be overly cluttery or messy so I just put a few kind of a few makeup items, some bathroom items, like some soaps and toothbrushes and some towels, but it is pretty simple. Then I think I get a plant in the corner. I was going to use this one and raise it up, but it didn't, I don't know, it didn't quite look right. So I just use uh, this one that I've used a couple of different times throughout the apartment. And then that's basically it for their bathroom. And then over here is where I create the closet. So I thought about using that really high archway for the closet, but you'll see here in a moment that I change it to a shorter one because it looked a little bit strange and I felt like it looked better with the shorter one but these closets are so cool I wish we would have got more of them to be honest I wish we would have got different styles because these ones are quite fancy a little bit hard to use in a lot of different builds but I feel like it works in this one and I really I don't know I really like them so I'm so happy with the way this closet area came together it's not as like big and grand of a walk-in closet as I would have liked it to be but it still looks good I think for this apartment and then I put a couple of these little like hanging towels there on the wall and then yeah so this is when I go in to add a few more decorations down to the living room because I just felt like it looked a little bit plain so I add two chairs over here a few more decorations to the coffee table I add this stack of books with the statue on top of it and I add a plant and I think this just looks a little bit better it's just a little bit more decorations and then I put this light over here behind the chairs and then I do a little seating area here. And then we are already almost onto the screenshots. I hope you guys have enjoyed this renovation. And like I mentioned, if you guys have any ideas for the family that should live in the three-story apartment, please let me know that as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And please leave any comments or suggestions that you have. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Somehow you find